du International Service for Human Rights. Nous remercions le groupe de travail. Thank you. We thank the working group for the excellent report that points to the many problems on, for which extra, dish, extra attention is needed. Police violence and systemic racism against people of African descent and impunity did not start yesterday. Do we remember the case of Rodney King 30 years ago? And nothing has changed. In France, the case of Adama Traoré, killed by the police, which the working group addressed in 2017, has been before the courts for over four years, and no progress has been made to prosecute the perpetrators. The family of the victim and the defenders have, on the other hand, been subjected to judicial harassment. As the Working Group states in its report, violations of human rights do not only affect victims of police violence, but also the peaceful demonstrators who defend them. These violations go beyond demonstrations. They affect people who defend victims of police violence right into their private life. We call on France to end these practices once for all and ensure that anti-racist defenders can carry out their work without obstacles, with transparent inquiries into racial police violence. This is the least that one could expect for a country that wants to be a member of the Human Rights Council. We thank the working group for having re recommended to the UN to continue to ensure that states where these violations take place be made accountable. We call on the working group to, we would ask the working group what it, what it thinks the Human Rights Council could do to ensure that France becomes accountable for police violence. Thank you.